In this tutorial, we'll cover how to manage user lockouts, including possible causes for lockouts, security and password settings, and options for resolution. Let's begin. In your JumpCloud admin account, navigate to the User Management tab in the menu on the left-hand side and select Users. If there are any users in the red state, this means that the account is locked out either due to too many failed login attempts or an expired password. In this state, the user is locked out of their JumpCloud account and any connected resources. When a user gets locked out, admins are notified via email, at which point they can troubleshoot the cause of the lockout and decide the best resolution to unlock the account. We'll start by looking at the different settings that impact user lockouts in the User Security Settings menu on the left. The two configurations that can lead to a locked out user account are Password Aging and Expiry Settings, Lockout After a Number of Failed Attempts. We'll first start with the example of too many failed login attempts. An active user, Bob Fay, will attempt to log in to any of his bound JumpCloud resources. We'll use the user portal for this demonstration, but this really could be any JumpCloud bound resource such as a device, radius networks, or LDAP. If Bob enters his password incorrectly six or more times, his JumpCloud account will flip from an active user account to a locked user account, and the admin will receive an email notification. In this situation, there are several options the user and admin could take to remediate. The following could be viable options based on the user's security settings we've mentioned previously. Bob could reset his password via the JumpCloud user portal login screen, or Bob could also wait 10 minutes for the account to automatically unlock, or the JumpCloud admin could unlock the account from the admin portal. Note, if an admin unlocks a user from the admin portal, this does not change the password for the end user. If the end user has totally forgotten his or her password, an admin can set a new temporary password and force the user to set a new one upon the next login of the user portal. The second way to reach a locked out status is for the user to let their password expire. By default, JumpCloud users are notified via email seven days before expiration every day until they change their password within JumpCloud. Users are also notified via system notifications within the JumpCloud agent app that their passwords are about to expire and that they are required to update their passwords. If the user bypasses or ignores all of these warnings and notifications and allows their password to expire, there are a few ways to reset their password based on the user security settings configured. By enabling the user security setting, allow password change after expiration, users will still be able to change their passwords to reactivate their account. In this example, we can see that the user account Sarah Fay is locked out due to password expiry. As Sarah logs into the user portal, she's still able to log in with the expired password, but is forced to reset the password before she can proceed any further. Once she updates her password, her account will switch back to green and active with the account status. If this user security setting is not enabled, only JumpCloud admins are enabled to unlock the expired account and must set a new temporary password for the user account. Admins can also require users to create their own new password upon their next login. Check out JumpCloud's knowledge base articles for more details on how to manage user lockout, password configurations, and more. Thanks again.